Welcome back to the Monstrous Musings podcast. This is Andrew. I'm joined by... Yeah, it's me. Uh, I'm Brandon. And uh, I'm, I'm Zach. Yeah, that's great. You know, <laughs> one of these days, I'll do a little title, a little intro, so they know who's coming first. But until now, I like to cut out the horribly awkward 45 second pause in between what i say and what they say and then they come in it's on top of each other's great yeah one of these days will be organized yeah this is it's just part of the style it's part of the aesthetic um, it's, it's how you know it's raw natural you know unfiltered organic exactly. improvisational exactly <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so uh welcome back uh you lovely person out there who's checking this out right now uh you might get some more, slightly more regular uh, podcasts, but we'll see. But we have a doozy whipped up for today. Trust me, okay? Something relevant, something uh, huge in the world. Uh, we're finally coming out of our shell, uh, as it were. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to pass on this slideshow, and then you'll get the raw reaction of my two uh, close, close friends when they find out uh, which horrible um, war crime we're discussing today. Oh. oh my goodness gracious that's right okay who are we talking about today which <laughs> diabolical monster is uh, on the menu the most foul beast it's... known to mankind exactly it's it's uh it's a be uh, bowser i guess yeah doug bowser ceo of nintendo <laughs> That's right. No, I'm kidding. He's not the CEO. That's a different one. In fact, the wiki specified that, by the way. There were a couple different, like, Bowsers. I think there was a Lord Bowser that isn't related either. That's just how it is on this. Uh, 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 do you think he used his Bowser as his, like, profile picture on stuff? You think uh, that's funny? I think they should have added more, like, um, there should have been more promotional images with the, the new CEO. I think it's just Nintendo of America. Um, Doug Bowser with uh, Bowser? Yeah, Bowser the Koopa. The Koopa King. Um, so, what a huge, what a huge character right now. What a what a the Mario movie at time of recording just passed. I think one billion in box office sales. So a couple of people have seen it. Um, That's at least double a more billion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That's it's 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 actually raised one more billion dollars for young Koopas everywhere. No way. And. Uh, I think this was a great time to jump into a different, you know, series, you know, a different character, one one that everybody knows, one we don't need to dive into the, um, you know, we don't have to look too much at his undercarriage and discuss, uh, you know, how long it takes. Uh, I'm, I've lost were, the words. Were we looking at undercarriages of other characters? Oh, yes, yeah. The, the, uh, the Monster I, uh... Hunter series is well known for their, their detail in the undercarriage. We're, uh... <laughs> <laughs> but hang on, is that you just reveal what what you've been investigating during all of our um, monstrous musing things? Uh, so. <laughs> like uh, Tug's collar sweats a little. Andrew, um, I don't think I've once looked at the undercarriage during one of these. What are you talking about, boy? I'll have you know that my high school uh, my high school yearbook quote was um, open quotes. I love sexual dimorphism of <laughs> mammals. Close quotes. That's true. Um, I can't confirm. So you know. We all got to be honest. Uh, yeah, Andrew is uh, uh, does enjoy uh, mammals and <laughs> uh, other sort of funny funny creatures, and you know I think I respect that a little bit. Uh, it's good, yeah. I, I don't know where I was going with that, but I, I was just waiting for, uh, for Andrew to cut me off. I never no. did. No, I love <laughs> creatures. Anyway, so Bowser, the king of the Koopas. Few characters True. have had. Uh, the same like cultural impact and gone through as many iterations as this tortoise this large tortoise um so i thought it was worth diving into some bit one thought i had recently was that you know if we get further on and if we ever get corrections and stuff it's difficult to completely discuss you know we're just riffing here we're just having a chat three bros about uh monsters you know that's true and uh, you know there's no uh uh instagram-esque this contains maybe fake news uh, on YouTube, so you know what? No one will ever know unless they know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, you know, if we ever did miss some major things or made some horrible, horrible mistakes, we could do, like, um, uh, a scoop-up episode cleanup. You know, maybe even revisit. But, uh, at Facts we lied about in, in, in Monstrous Musings. It's just, like, yeah. a five-hour correctional video. Yeah, yeah. At at five minutes and ten seconds, um, he said Koopa Kid when that's not correct. Uh, that was term was never used. Um, you know, but we're, but you know, considering we've only had four episodes before that, 
the uh, the vast majority of discussion is ahead of us, really. Honestly, <laughs> how can we talk about all monsters um, in five episodes? Love monsters. Yeah, same. Uh, anyway, so the very beginning, the dawn of time, I would say, I would argue, from my understanding, the first antagonist in the Super Mario series um, was, in fact, not Bowser. No. Because Mario Jumpman <laughs> Mario had to save what I believe to be Pauline um, from that 75 oh, in, meter uh, whatever in the Donkey Kong in, arcade uh, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it Pauline yes, or yeah. was it like Daisy? I don't know. Uh... Hey, Siri. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, 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 I think it was Pauline. I think it was Pauline. I think Daisy was only introduced much later. Mm. I think it's Pauline. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it is Pauline. Yeah. It's incredible. But yeah, but he came in in the, in the NES game. I think there was an old version or a Japanese version or sometimes there's like a blue Bowser. I don't know, man. All I know is Bowser's been around for a long time. Uh, as we can jump into, he's had his own spin-off Same, series. Actually. You have been around for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, at least like at least like maybe twenty five minutes. <laughs> like uh, like an eternal one, a beast from the alternate dimension. Uh, Brandon is equivalent to uh, Lovecraftian horror. Is that what it is? One of those things. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I've seen a bit of Bowser because I like Super Mario Maker, and you can watch him through uh, you know the NES game, and then the Super Mario World, and then Mario Brothers three. And the Wii one and stuff. And the one for the but, DS. Yeah, all, all of them. There's a couple different styles. But there's a couple key things. One, he's a lot more athletic than he looks. You know, maybe we'll start talking about... <laughs> <laughs> can I just say that I can see the slide that I think you're you're going to bring up when you, when you make that point. Slide four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's been in so many sports. Gosh. What does it do? Yeah, you know, I, I've, seen him, I've seen him play at the Olympics. Uh, I've seen what he, what he can do. Alongside Sonic, he's canonically knows has met Sonic and Knuckles and Vector and um, uh, a couple others. You know, uh, Doctor A. <laughs> are the are the Smash Bros. games canonical or are they like fan fiction? I don't think those are. I was referring to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic yeah, Games. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm, I'm asking because it'd be a lot broader if those like, were. Is it in the that's canon? True. I guess. Oh, well, that's, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Yeah, I wonder what the canon is. There. I do Does, know that. In some... Does Bowser occasionally put his uh, differences Mario aside to uh, engage in uh, synchronized swimming with him? <laughs> oh, I, I hope so. I hope that's true. But uh, I do know that Nintendo's a little bit protective of like, the Mario series because people got really mad when the new Paper Mario games and stuff would come out and they have to like reuse Mario characters. Like, they can't develop new and interesting characters and species like they did, I think, in like Thousand Year Door and some of the earlier uh, entries. Uh, that is something I'd heard. I don't know why. I guess they're really protective of the Mario brand, rightfully so. You know, it's it's almost synonymous with Nintendo, right? So then doesn't mean you do know. What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said I don't really know, but then you gave uh, you gave what is probably the the accurate description. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't, but I don't take credit. You know, I just. I just, I'm just, I'm just speaking my truth. You just, know me. Just as little as little theories, you know. They're just little theories uh, just for fun. That's just a monkey business theory. A monkey business theory. <laughs> a business fun. theory by monkey business. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So whether or not it's cool, and he has a, I really like what they did with the Mario Golf costumes. So he's wearing Bowser pants. This beautiful flaming thing. I think he is wearing like pants that are like ripped at the bottom but only on one side and big metal shoes you know maybe so, maybe that's it he's training you know, the whole time. i don't even know if they're ripped i think it's just it's like an I think it's a style it's like yeah a, it's like if you look closely it's kind of like uh embossed a little bit it, to my Whoa. to me i would view it as like a uh like leather trimming on like the edge of like a shirt or something like that I except agree. here they're just in alternating colors yeah, yeah so I, I, I see that. why does he not normally wear pants then I don't know. Yeah, well, how can like it's it's it is it's one of those things where you get a character that's caught like anthropomorphic, but completely stark naked in almost all the scenes, and then he puts on clothes. But then when the clothes comes back off, you have some concerns, right? Um, <laughs> you know, maybe it's because the uh, in order to uh, participate in uh, the golf tournaments, you have a golf uniform, and he has to wear pants even though he normally doesn't. That's true. That's Shoes possible. and shirt required for service, dude. I get that. Absolutely. Um, I, I, another example of this is like the the wedding garb that he dons. I have it on slide two here, but um, 
Uh, that's from Odyssey. But like like we mentioned before recording, sorry, you had to be there. Um, it's like that in the movie too. <laughs> he, uh, you know, he, he has he has some special stuff, you know. But if you look at that slide that I've created here, which is not the most beautiful one, um, but you know, this is my uh, this is my uh, what this I would I went. Uh, 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 <laughs> I, I create, this, as part this, of my this research. This is your, your tribute to Bowser. To catch gonna, Brandon and Zach up, I you're gonna go a through this. Uh, you're gonna go through this slideshow playing like some sort of edgy 2000s emo music. Oh, and it's like Bowser <laughs> yeah. tribute. Tribute is is the the center uh, upper Bowser. Is that from Bowser's Inside Story? Yeah, yeah. If it's if it's not, it's from one of the Mario and Luigi bowser games yeah but yeah well no what i was trying to say was as part of my research i create a a, a monstrous mood board like a pinterest board <laughs> i splatter some images on i don't know if i've actually put a whole slide in uh in the past episodes but sometimes i do anyway same actually <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but yeah he, he looks pretty handsome there and if you notice look at his look at the shoes he's wearing in his like groom outfit uh, and compare him to the golf ones they're pretty similar yeah, those yeah. are about the same. Are those really formal attire then? You know, have we have we caught? A, is, are we poking at a detail here that nobody else has ever thought wondered? Also, have considered? you noticed that in the wedding attire he has different armbands? Yeah, they're full silver or like chromed out. Oh yeah, yeah chromed. exactly. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> which means that that those, yeah, those armbands are a deliberate choice on his part. He's not. It's not part of his body or anything. He wakes up every morning, puts them on. They must be removable then. That's, That's true. Great. How does he remove the one yeah, around? You know, in the in the Mario 64 one, it's blue. Oh, oh they're, yeah, it is. Yeah. Like a different color. And it doesn't really look like a spike. It's just like a stud. <laughs> um, <laughs> Much like you, Brandon. Yeah. Wow. Exactly. And uh, you can put in like an image of like a... Of a gorilla like a Chad guy or something. Okay. Okay. Oh, that too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but so I put a couple of the like renders from the different Smash Bros entries. So I know on the second uh, slide with the blue background, that's Brawl. On the first one, I think top left is like four, so that's like weird 3DS or something. And then on the right, I think that would be ultimate. That makes sense to me. I thought the best picture that captured his vibe was like the crossed arms, like <laughs> render from an old Mario Party or something. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good. Cool. I just love the energy. And Bowser loves his clown car. And I have issues with that device, that vehicle. <laughs> um, to me, it's neither clown nor car, to be frank. Um, <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty it, clown-like. It jets around with a propeller, you know? It doesn't even have a nose. That's, uh, as as an aerospace engineer, I can confirm that's not a car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not legally meet the definition of car. Do you need a license for it? There's not even a steering wheel. Like, is it just a hundred pedals that you can't it's see? It's like, you know those hoverboards are just like wherever, or like a Segway. It's whichever mm -hmm. direction you lean in. Oh my god, a little, little sidetrack, I actually saw one. I was pulling up in, in the car with some people, and we thought a dude was just chilling on the road standing next to us. It was at night, so we weren't sure, you know, <laughs> if he was in an altered state of mind. And uh, and then he, like, zipped off on his, like, hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> Not zipped off, we passed him, like, the moment we went over, like, 15 kilometers an hour. But uh, <laughs> uh, it was incredible. But he caught anyway, up to you to later going 150 wild. kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. But Brandon, good eye on uh, Bowser's Inside Story. That's an incredible little series, little vibe. They have some villains. Again, I don't like what is canon, what is not in Mario. What is canon in general? The question of canon frustrates me on an academic level for reasons I can't get into. And um, just in general, you know, it comes up with like Star Wars and stuff all the time. Any sort of like fantasy world, you know, whenever it, people talk about filler episodes, it drives me mad. So let's let's not go there. Flash like, that uh, <laughs> flash that top left image of slide two on screen. Is that canon to anything, or is this some guy's deviant art post? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it's from a coloring <laughs> book. I'm not gonna lie. Like, uh, yeah, it but... does. Or maybe it's from like one of the uh, like the manuals of the old games, and it was just like they put way more detail into the manual than like the actual thing. It's mm -hmm. like graphical limitations. Oh, could be. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you actually. But I knew I had to squirt out the image from Mario sixty four because that that you know very important uh, game. For, I beg your pardon. For, for the history of video games for three D games. Um, you know. Why is his head so big in that game? Mario says so long. Uh, what does he say? Goodbye, Bowser. Whatever. What's, <laughs> what's the actual? So long, Brandon. Brandon. Knows so the long, Bowser. Isn't it so long, a Bowser? 
<laughs> yeah, it's just his Italian accent. <laughs> it looks like an E on the end. Then there's like a break dancing Bowser. I don't know exactly what the lore is for that, but it's incredible. Maybe he's going for oh, a it's tick. So long, Kinga Bowser. Oh. Not e Bowser. Kinga Bowser. Oh. Or not the the other alternative. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's almost you know. June. You know, especially by the time this comes out. You know, but I think if in 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 honor of June, we should not be saying so long, gay Bowser, but welcome, gay Bowser. I see the um, <laughs> How you been, pal? <laughs> you well, know? maybe maybe maybe, kind of maybe maybe when you say so long, it's he's leaving your dinner party. And you're like, so long, see you later. Yeah. 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 Sayonara, Bowser, and like punch him in the throat or something. Like that. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> and um, if if Super Mario sixty four, like if you just look at history was like one of the first 3D games Bowser's first like 3D appearance you know and then later on you check him out now it's like he really had a glow up you know yeah I was like, gonna say glow school. up <laughs> you know uh, but yeah it's beautiful beautiful game a frustrating game there's later some questions relating to another frustrating 3D Mario game that I can't wait to discuss with Brandon so uh, don't skip ahead <laughs> Bowser goes back and forth between like threatening and friendly and it's not even necessarily based on the game like uh, Super Mario World, the one I have there, slide three, top right. Oh, that's what that's from? Uh, at least it is in Mario Maker. This is what I'm saying. What the heck? Yeah, that, the Bowser in the top right is from Super Mario World? Huh. Or, may, or maybe that's like a like an updated version. Because I yeah, it is an updated. Like much... Yeah, the other one is gross. <laughs> yeah, is it the one where he's in the little car and he looks like... Yeah, yeah. I found some fan See, this art is what of I'm it. saying. It goes a little bit back and forth. I'll put one in the in the slide there. Let's see if we're on the same page. Uh, <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? Yeah, what is, is that? I hate I that. Found. But I also love that, but I also hate that. So, yeah. So. so yeah, yeah. I guess it is updated to kind of standardize it, which makes sense. Um, and then, yeah. It is lore significant, you know? Yeah. I, I had to include the picture of Bowser uh, popping out of the pipe from 3D World with uh, one of the... The, I don't know. The, the character the, the, in a the jar. Sprixies, I think they're called Sprixies. In a jar. That's. I'm not going to comment anymore on the jar, but he puts them in jars. How are they going to breathe creatures. in the jar? Yeah, it's not even a hole. Just that's, a our, that's our main concern. Maybe they, uh, maybe they have uh, some sort of, like, uh, maybe that cork is a bit porous. Yeah, maybe. He's it's not submerging. Let's the it, wine right? breathe. Yeah. <laughs> it's just to keep a cre like a solid um, terrestrial creature in there. There's no, like, there's nothing else passing through That's the true. membrane you know he would never ever um put a fluid in that jar i guess, I guess it's apart from like air yeah maybe like formaldehyde if it's like if it's <laughs> preserve it, you know I, <laughs> poor creature <laughs> like assuming it like i don't know like yeah, maybe a bit of milk if it, it needs was... to you know feed the little critter because yeah. they can't Absolutely. they can't not eat if it's a prisoner or else you know the prisoner's not a prisoner for much longer yeah that's true exactly you can uh you can just you know like squeeze a tube on the side because that, that looks like a that cork you know i don't know how uh airtight that is quite frankly i mean it looks pretty airtight but like you know i, I can't say so maybe um maybe there's like a little bit of room and he could just like inch down like a like a tube and then kind of put uh, some sort of blended uh like strawberries <laughs> and like protein powder or something <laughs> and, uh, and that'll be enough for it to live well, that's great um before we go too far on into specific things i do want to talk you know we should evaluate bowser a little bit like we've talked about our other creatures so we've got a little bit in, in the history and the lore you know something something shigeru miyamoto something something <laughs> um uh you know if you drew a timeline of bowser it would probably go from miyamoto to jack black and that's just the t that's the timeline we live in that's um, true but when you look at bowser what what creatures do you see what inspiration what we talked about him being a tortoise. They refer to him as like a tortoise, you know, meaning like making the distinction. It's not just a turtle. It's terrestrial. Um, one of the like sources or something online where I looked at quickly said that he was supposed to be based off like a Japanese soft shell or something that looks like a hard shell. Um, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna hit the ball into your court. What do you what, what creature do you see? What are his animal inspirations? I have a I have a I have a comment. Mm -hmm. uh, I think imagine you had like a crocodile, right? Take its take its mouth, kind of like puff it up a bit, like it got stung by a bunch of bees, and compress it. That's what is. That's the closest thing I can think his his like mouth structure looks like, like a heavily compressed and inflated crocodile mouth. I don't know if you yeah, see, see it the that. same way that I see it, but 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's funny. It's like a, in some of them, like the more bottom ones, it's like a clover. Yeah, it's very but like. This fully close is very strange. It's like four balls. I don't know any other critters that have mouths have like that. that. Besides, like the I'm looking at the 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 baseball one in particular. If you look at it, like the angle it's at, it really kind of I don't know. Yeah. Reminds me of crocodile. Yeah, I see that. And you know what? I saw an Instagram post, and I can kind of verify it now. So we're about to drop maybe the first ever animal fact on the but, podcast. I was okay? gonna say Bowser lore. What's a good you know way? A human is an animal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's the best way to distinguish between a crocodile and an alligator? Uh, their teeth pop out. If you didn't know where they are. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, which uh, which one makes a more expensive coat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I don't know. Do you know that? I don't. I don't. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, no, people say that the um, the shape of the jaw, like if you're looking at it from above, um, I guess it depends a little bit on the font. No, it doesn't. Um, the font. Uh, Wait, what am I? No, this is totally incorrect. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to have to add more of the fake news alerts to the bottom? <laughs> this video contains information about crocodiles and alligators. Please someone refer said, to the wiki page. Someone said that a crocodile has like a more, like a, a, a pointier snout and mouth. And a gator has kind of a fatter, wider one. Um, is that not up to interpretation though? No, but I think, like, if you look up, like, American Alligator, it has, like, a big, like, capital A structured kind of jaw. But then now I'm confused because a C is also rounded, so I don't know why they did this. But someone put an A and a C, and I was like, oh, that makes sense. I didn't think about it any further <laughs> until now um, when I'm spitting fake news. So, um, yeah, I, th I, I think, it isn't, like, a classic that... Crocodiles, you can see their teeth pointing upwards, or no? Yeah, no, I'm seeing something here too. Yeah, lower teeth are hidden on a, on an alligator. So the yeah, the upwards facing teeth would be visible on a crocodile. I see that. Yeah. V shaped snout versus U shaped snout. I thought it made sense because alligator starts with A, but C for crocodile makes it rounded too, so I don't I don't know. Well, it says a crocodile has a V shaped and an alligator has a U shaped. Okay. On well, this website. Anyway. <laughs> so alligator has A. Anything that doesn't look like an A is a crocodile <laughs> or a very mangled alligator. Oh no, not according to look at this chart. Oh no. What's a garial? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's more <laughs> It's like, um, it's like one of the creatures in the uh, dinosaur uh, Ice Age movie. That's true. Also, Actually, I don't know if this, this website's trustable because like, it's filled with this type of stuff. Oh, no. I don't know if we can share that. But there's ads for um, why men's and women's clothes button up on different sides. Why a dark line sometimes appears on your belly when you're pregnant. But there's a bunch of like horrible clip art images. <laughs> um, how wedding rings are worn in different countries at home versus in public. How to remove scratches from glass. Uh, I don't Whoa. have anything funny to say. This the you'll, you'll enjoy it. Here's one last one that you can read off to the to the folks at home. How to use a bidet? And there's a woman <laughs> straddling a toilet, facing the wall. And <laughs> that, that's actually a bidet. That that's not a toilet. That's a bidet. You can tell because there's no tank. <laughs> okay, that's like so. the horrible old style bidets where you just kind of. I don't like those. Yeah, it's not. It's not a real woman. It's like a green and a yellow woman. I don't know. I guess. That's if, true. I guess if you use a different type of bidet or it's ineffective, it's like, uh, it'll change. Your color, so your single color. Yeah. It'll change you to it's be like, uh, either a vibrant green or like a really dark yellow. Yeah. Like I, I like you need a bit more hydration level of yellow, you know? Yeah, like Simpsons yellow. And um yeah, anyway, uh so alligators and crocodiles are different. Um you're gonna have to check out our podcast on our second channel, Animal Facts. <laughs> uh for more hidden misinformation. <laughs> oh, that'll be funny. But yeah. So, yeah, he definitely a snout like that, you know? Like, that's what happens if a gator moves too fast. He goes into a wall and just squats Smash. down the snout. Um, what are you seeing, Brandon? Um, I see, so a little bit of uh, in his mouth, in his area. Like like what Zach was saying before, I agree with. But also, maybe a little bit of like a hippo. Okay. Yeah, the true. Style of uh, mouth and kind of where the nose is. Not quite, but like there's like some aspects of that. But I, I still see more of like a like a gator and more kind of reptilian um, and not like the like world leader type reptilian like an actual reptile <laughs> and uh, uh, 
the the mixture of green and yellow it's kind of funny mm-hmm. uh i don't I, I remember watching a, a video on like the color scheme of villains and it involves like green mm-hmm. and then stuff like that because they're like kind of unnatural and like whatever color like sickly and mm-hmm. uh makes you think of that uh, uh another thing is if you look at like, like a horrible image of like uh, a kappa <laughs> that uh, we we kind of mentioned in yeah. uh, previous episodes kind of has that like general color scheme um so once again like i don't know if that's like a more modern thing but, like, so it kind of reminds me a little bit of that um uh i don't know why he only has three toes that's kind of funny yeah i think you're onto something with the kappa though especially because you know koopa and yeah. uh you know tortoises, if he's king turtles, of the koopas you know? If he's king of the Koopas, are the Goombas counted as a Koopa, or is a Goomba just like another creature that I he's like? I think it's like in Halo when you have the uh, the, the Covenants, whatever. Sengelis and whatever the grunts are, yeah. you know? Yeah. They're part of the same yeah, group. Is it like, yeah, it's like it's the king of England, England is the king of England, but like also the king of Scotland, Wales, but like, they just, you know, they don't necessarily say it ex- as explicitly. So mm-hmm. I guess they say the king. Anyway, yeah. yeah. It's wild. I have to take, uh, I need to die on a hill momentarily. Um, in the Super <laughs> Mario movie, <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> um, they they go around, they do this thing, and they're like, "Oh, my Koopas, and my Goombas," and uh, and then they point at the spinies, the red shelled little turtle things that are not that far off what Bowser is, and he goes, well, "Whatever those are." It's like those are your troopas, man. Those are your troops, dude. What are you on about? I was sitting there, I pointed at the screen, I actually threw popcorn. I totally um, I spit out my drink over the yeah. rows in front of me. <laughs> he, uh, the, there's like the poor, uh, like kids going with like, you know, he's going, he's, he just started playing Mario. His first Mario game was, uh, Odyssey. And, you know, he's there with his little brother and then Andrew spat like, like orange Fanta all over them. And like, they're like crying and screaming <laughs> and he's, and he's yelling about like a spiny creature and like nobody knows what's happening. It's like a whole scene. You had to, you had to have been there. Yeah, um, Ke- Keegan-Michael K came in and dragged me out in the Toad voice, which apparently has not been yeah. used in any voice modifiers. I'm shocked. Um, and then Chris Pratt, uh, you know, used his uh, like, Star-Lord powers to uh, give me some testicular torsion just to silence me <laughs> momentarily. Um, he has no Star-Lord incredible. powers. There's a lot of misinformation in this episode, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah. So did you have any other uh, things you were meant to mention? I'm sorry, Brandon, I had a good fight. Um, no, I think I think that's about it. Um, I guess, you know, uh, Bowser Shell, pretty interesting thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know uh, what, what other creature actually has spikes on its shell. Mm. Uh, maybe like some sort of dinosaur. Mm. Uh, like, uh, you know, actually his tail reminds me of, uh, what's that dinosaur? Uh, not a Stegosaurus. Uh, actually, it might be. Uh, yeah, I think Stegosaurus. Yeah, Stegosaurus. It's like a Stegosaurus. Except they're kind of like rounded spikes instead, like conical spikes instead of these like flat, uh, flat pieces. Reminds you a little bit of that. Um, so yeah, I think Bowser is a lizard slash dragon uh, thing with uh, some other uh, strange animal uh, influences. I thought you were gonna say um, what dinosaur, Ankylosaurus or something, and then I was gonna come over there and like Nick Cage hand a god, you know, just, <laughs> just <laughs> <to the crowd. laughs> <laughs> oh, it's super relevant. Brenda's been dying over that the past 24 hours. That's, <laughs> that's, it's one of the most beautiful uh, things I've ever seen. Oh, yeah, uh, I'd like to draw attention to the tail, because there is an animal that exists today that has a very, very similar tail, um, unless I've been gaslighted by Go on, nature describe herself. It. That's the, uh, the snapping turtle, probably the mm. American snapping turtle. Same. Same. <laughs> Brandon also has a, a spiky tail. Uh, yeah. We'll, have to, we'll I, uh, post a picture of him right now. Yeah, see, American Snapping Tails do have like some spiky scales that go down on the on the tail, like that. Oh. Um, so there's that. Yeah, he's a little bit like I don't know if this is wrong. Maybe it's a size thing, but stick Kaiju esque. He certainly gets large. We'll discuss soon in better <laughs> detail. Um, I don't know why his head is green. Yeah, that I yellow. was noticing that, and it breaks off perfectly at his collar. It's a bit concerning. Which we maybe it's uh, disgust is removable, right? Because he changes the yeah. other ones to be chrome. So it does it. Is it just like a harsh transition between the is green of his head? I I would think I think it's probably a harsh transition at his neckline, and it just so happens to be uh uh like that. Yeah, I don't know. That's the, uh, it's kind of funny. The only thing I could suggest is that if you were to put a drone 
above Bowser. You can get him down on all fours. Um, <laughs> get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> um, he would be green from his shell onto that part of his head that would be exposed. Like, it's all the underbelly-esque that would be, you know, yellow. You feel me? I found, um... Yeah. This doesn't really answer our questions, but... Oh, no. <laughs> it's very low resolution, but... <laughs> okay. uh, that Bowser has pit hair and is jacked. Um, he even has a little bit of facial hair, which I love. Um, one one other inspiration that is legit, and this might actually be a, some more Bowser lore. The Bowser lore has been the most accurate so far of anything we've said, which is good because it's a Bowser episode. Um, is that it is? He, I'm kidding. Is, <laughs> Bowser was originally going to be an ox king, like related really? to an ox. Like a bull, uh, like, like an ox. in, uh, like in the original Dragon Ball, the Ox King. Sure, I haven't seen that, so I'm going to take your word for it. I hope you're not trolling me. Um, I'm not. But yeah, look, see, he has horns. I Turtles don't, don't have horns, you know. Um, I, I can see it. I don't know what the hair is. It's like rooster comb. That's the really never addressed. Um, but if he's, I mean, <sighs> dinosaurs are like birds, but. We think of dinosaurs like, uh, unless you're like really smart, a lot of people think of them right now still as like reptiles, um, like uh, like tortoises and dinosaurs and tortoises and dinosaurs. So, um, but. <laughs> yeah, but rooster comb, bird, bird, dinosaur, Bowser, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> was that like a, what? I, uh, what was that? <laughs> It's just, I'm just I'm just um trimming the fat in my sentences. Is that okay? Just spitballing. That's incredible. Oh uh, yeah. Well, anyway, Bowser's taking on many forms. That's oh, true. No, we go to we go to page five. What is that form on the? Where are all these forms? Oh, dude, let me <laughs> jump. Okay, <laughs> in the middle, the cutesy one is him from the movie when he's proposing. That's to true. Peach. Um, um which is lovely. and she and she shoots him down, and uh, Bowser. Uh, I guess in uh, yeah, wherever he's from, rage. in uh, in the Koopa Kingdom, uh, it's not uh, understand uh, the meaning of uh, no, and hasn't <laughs> taken the courses on consent and uh, various other uh, important factors, and so he uh, he kidnaps her. But you know, yeah, that's it. That's that's all I have to say about that. Thank you. Yeah, wait, is that is that an Odyssey or is that in? Uh, no, I mean, I guess just in general, you know, oh. he's uh, <laughs> he, uh, but you know what the thing is, right? Like even if he, let's say he got his way, right? Yeah. You know what? Well, what happens after that? What do you mean? Like, like if, if like, I don't know, like, is she not gonna like stab him in his sleep or something? Like, you know, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Right. Peach is kind of a bad bitch. You know? Yeah, she's she's a strong, but like, lovely character. But I mean, I guess the thing is, like, is Bowser is Bowser immortal? Because like in in all the games, like canonically, right? Like he, he goes into lava and like dies, like becomes a skeleton <laughs> and like, comes back and he dies again. He's just like, now nah, it's okay, back. You or, like this? What's his name? Uh, Kamek, like, what, what's the, the name of the uh, little yeah, yeah. Magic Koopa? Yeah, um, does he does it just like revive him each time? So, do you need to like kill him and then also kill Kamek? Dude, I don't know. I just know you're asking questions you don't want to be asking because Zelda fans and Zelda creators got into this stuff, and now the lore is, and you know, some of this, and I'm sure Zach knows some of this too. You know, Triforce, three parts, power, courage, wisdom. Ganon is not Ganondorf, but sometimes Ganondorf is Ganon, and he's power, and sometimes has that peace, and all this reincarnation, then, and the cycle, and the splitting of the timeline. It isn't uh, uh, in like the, the later ones? It's uh, it's Vati instead. Like sorry, in um, in Minish Cap, because I was playing through Minish Cap recently. Mm -hmm. It's not even it's not even uh, what's his name? It's it's just Vati instead of Ganon. Huh? Really? And it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, like Ganon doesn't appear in the game at all. It's just Vati. Who's that? Vati. Uh, he's like a little antagonist, little, yeah. little fella. I think he's in a couple Zelda games. Actually, I don't know if he is. But so I don't know. If oh, yeah, he is a recurring boss. Yeah, there we go. If the next 3D Mario is like they boil down to the essence of Mario is the hero through the like Elder Scrolls is passed down and he travels and in every timeline he fights wasn't the evil it, Bowser spirit. Wasn't it canonical or something weird about being like a play actually or something? Or is that just for Mario? Three. I think that was Mario. Uh, yeah, or Mario Three. I forget which one. I think one of the RPGs too. Uh, I mean, uh, if not the RPG, then I mean the, the like the Paper Mario. One of them is like it's it's all on stage and it's like crowd and stuff too. Yeah, you know what? Maybe that's how they can hang out uh, on their off hours. 
but there's still some hiccups. Anyway, so back to our, our beautiful slide here. Um, Giga Bowser is uh, the bottom right, bottom left, and that's from Smash. I don't think it exists anywhere else. Big scary version of Bowser. I think the first time you might have done that. No, he, he did it in Melee. So the, How does um, that happen? When he gets a Smash Ball, he becomes Giga Bowser. No. Oh. <laughs> But uh, the friends we play Smash with uh, don't don't allow us to get <laughs> to use the Smash Ball. So uh, there's a lot you never see, um, or items. But uh, that's a story for another time. But yeah, so he like runs around. He's like, oh, it's pretty scary. In one of the newer games, like on the, so the left is a newer one, like Ultimate, and he just kind of punt like does one mega punch that like instantly knocks out anybody he hits. What's the one on we screen. we typically play? Uh. uh like ultimate. Uh, ultimate. ultimate so yeah. we could be seeing this Bowser we've just been if we, prevented if we turn on the Smash Ball absolutely by, <laughs> yeah. by the poor yeah. choices Actually, does, does he do that in uh, the bottom left one you're talking about right yeah does he do that in Ultimate he, he becomes I, it and he goes to the background and then he throws a punch but in the other okay, one okay. you could play as him you could play as him yeah I found you know crazy. what I found Ultimate compared to the other ones um, no, a lot less interactive Smashes Yes, it's yeah, a lot of yeah. them. It's more like a like you know you do like a little swing thing and then like activates like a cutscene or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like it used to be like you know when you were a super or Sonic or whatever, um, you know you could like kind of he has a little bit of agency when you move around. Um, you uh, there are a couple other ones where you could like do cool stuff like you get with uh, Captain Falco uh, with uh, Falco and stuff like that. You just like summon your little uh, tank that you can drive around in. I think. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, they uh, they made them less. Like it's more just like a. Yeah, you just have to like get contact with them, and then or like you activate some sort of like space laser or something, or some very strange thing. Yeah, yeah, they really toned it down. So we can, you know what? That's our third podcast is um the intricacies of uh, Super Smash Bros. and the yeah, we have to rank our uh, top. We have to do an entire tier list of every single character yeah, in Smash yeah. Ultimate. Yeah. Oh man, but yeah, okay. So that's Giga Bowser. Uh, King Koopa, yeah. which is is Bowser, but he's from like the animated show, which is the Mario Brothers. Or, Do yeah, the I Mario. Remember I remember. I don't. I didn't like the fact that he was all green. That, that kind of weirded me out. I was like, why is he so like? He, he really, he just looks like a like a crocodile got like a like a shell in this one. Or actually, no. Here, you know what? That's much more of a hippo mouth. Like, yeah, look at that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's absolutely like a hippo. Yeah, and you're you're funny because a lot of like dragons and characters they do kind of fall in that snout design which is very like hippo like yeah which is kind of bizarre hippocampus the hippocampus <laughs> indeed um i'm sure bowser has one but uh yeah in, in, the, in that, in that <laughs> animated so. series one of his like right hand mans was like mauser which is another character that's in like super mario brothers 2 which was i believe doki doki panic actually um in japan it's a reskin um that's our fun fact that's come up in an episode before what um wait did you just say mauser yeah. How do you look up That's cool. like Mauser like, and like the, the like the German uh, pistol? Uh, from, Maybe. Or uh, I think it's M A U Z or M A U S. Is, it is like a mouse with sunglasses. Whoa! Same, same what, a, what an incredible character. There's an old Star Wars episode. Like, it's crazy. I love that. Um, and then the Bowser from the first Mario Brothers movie is there. I, got, I think he has two forms. I think he's a white guy too. But when he's not a white guy, he's this horrible creature. Yeah, that's I guess that's from Mario Party. And then. One of the coolest, most recent iterations of Bowser is Fury Bowser from uh, Mario, the Super Mario 3D World Plus Bowser Fury, where he's he's very angry. Um, uh, I don't think we got to make a, an Incel King comment before, but you know the rage is hot, flaming hot now. Some beautiful metal tracks. He's huge. This is where he's like really like a kaiju, he's giant Godzilla Bowser. It's incredible. Mario has to go um, cat Super Saiyan. Where he like glows and gets lion things from the, the super wait battle. mario goes super saiyan yeah, when you... yeah. huh the more you know yeah, to fight bowser who's fueled with rage and he's inky and oozing and there's goop it's incredible yeah <laughs> yeah and then i just i, I put some stuff up because uh, paper mario is an important you know series for bowser i haven't played all the games um, i went down a few slides too many and that stopped I, it too I, much I, <laughs> that's right that's one power if we can't get into it yet you know what i'm saying um <laughs> Yeah, so I put it there. I haven't played a lot. Have you played any of the Paper Mario games? You two fellas? I have played uh, none of them. I watched like a, I watched like a playthrough on one of them, but I haven't uh, I haven't played any of them myself. No, no I haven't okay. played either. I thought I th this is sorry. It's hard to decide. I got a comment about the bottom right one afterwards. 
of uh, of on slide six. I thought that was a okay. Minecraft Bowser for a, <laughs> a hot minute, and I was a bit well, confused. But yeah. anyway, I've I've not played Paper Mario. That's my that's my okay. final answer. Yeah, I played Sticker Star. People said some people said they really didn't like it. Uh, I was the first one. My brother and I played and got a kick out of it. But I think part of it fell along like the story being interesting or not, new characters or versus a lot of dip toads. Um. So uh, <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of interesting, um, uh, a lot of interesting iterations. That one you're talking about, the Minecraft looking one. Um, I don't know if that's like I think it's a 3ds game. It might have been yeah. along the lines of uh, Mario and Luigi as well, and that's why there's like two Bowsers and there's like Paper Bowser, not Paper Bowser. Is it like? Um, are you sure that could have been a 3ds? That feels like two HD to be a 3d. Yeah, maybe. I, there's a lot of jackety. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> very much not HD, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's more than I thought the 3DS could do. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, it's I, I think it was because I, I think like the because that this looks like origami a crossover King one with like came 2D out ones. And, yeah, yeah. So it might be it's Mario a, Luigi. Is it like game. a Wii U one or something? I think it's I Mario or Luigi Wii paper one? paper what? Let's see, a paper a jam? paper cut. Yeah, Mario and Luigi colon space paper jam um, is the name of the game. Wow. I'm sure that's they were because uh, Bowser and Paper. You know, are you uh, and Peach and think, uh, Paper Peach and are gonna have uh, do you think the uh, the Mario uh, the Paper Mario series is more of like an A4 or is it like a letter? You know, uh, I think it's a tabloid. That's always a okay. weird or, paper format to me. Or legal? Le- yeah, that's, that's incredible. Legal. Have, you, have you ever seen the full like uh, the legal stuff? It's nuts. I don't know what's up with the like negative Bowser in the middle there, like Shadow Bowser. Maybe that's just for dramatic effect. Go behind that. Yeah, maybe he. Uh, that's like his like second phase where he fell into like. Uh, the purple ooze because it's like a purple background and then he's like getting up and he's mad and then <laughs> he's uh he's like fighting with his last breath hopping and, mad uh, he's hopping yeah, mad um, yeah. and to jump back to the animals uh some fun facts about the audio bowser the noises and uh, yeah, the noises and roars he makes from the original mario 64 um his like really deep bellowing ha 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 is actually Charles Martinet, but I think that was like some side voice work he did. I don't think he was hired for the role to do Bowser at that time. Pitched very low, obviously. What a gentle, kind, and caring man he seems. With long hair and southern vacations recently. <laughs> um, and uh, some of the other roars from that game for Bowser are like a mix, a different weird amalgamation of different like mountain lion, pigs, and boars screaming. Uh, so that's incredible, <laughs> you know? So some of that influence is there. Even if you don't pick it up in like a way that you can express like verbally, you know, in the back of your mind, maybe you're thinking that there's some kind of feline to Bowser. Oh, speaking, I forgot to put Meowser on here. I haven't got to uh, the end of. Was it? Uh, oh, me, uh, I thought you were talking about Mauser again. Also, we just talked about Mauser. No, no, no. Meowser yeah. is like a cat Bowser that exists and is part of that game and is also in Mario Maker. Um, he like pounces around. He's like a tiger. <laughs> he likes frosted flakes, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's another cool form. See, that's what I'm saying. There's so much out there. How can you get to it all? Um, but if we were to jump back into the lineage, and this is where Brandon's going to become a key player, because as someone who's finished uh, Super Mario Sunshine and played through um, Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island, he knows a little bit of things. Some things are others. Yeah, so Brandon, you played those games. I'm not going to ask you because I know the answer. You did. Um, so we can talk Koopa Kid, Baby Bowser, and Bowser Jr. are, as far as I understand, two or three completely separate entities, right? I think Baby Bowser is Bowser Bowser. Yeah. He was young. It's yes. like, Baby Bowser is during, like, the uh, Yoshi's Island-esque stuff where mm-hmm. uh, you have Baby Mario. Um, so that is uh, Bowser Bowser. Uh, Bowser Jr. is Bowser's son <laughs> of uh, Unknown Mother. Because it was confirmed that, like at the beginning, he's trying to say, "Ha ha, Peach is your mother, Bowser Jr." and uh, and Mario was uh, very concerned and uh, was about to call like some sort of legal authority. But uh, <laughs> at the end, uh, Bowser Jr. says, "I know she's not my real mom," and then he's like, "Yeah." Anyway, and that was it. Yeah, but um, so Koopa Kid appears in some stuff. I don't know if that's a young Bowser, one of his henchmen, because sometimes there's a couple. Yeah, Bowser Jr. is, yeah. I don't 
he's supposed to be the son, right? He's assumed to be the son. If he's not the son, he's an adoptive son. But it gets a little messy when you consider the Koopalings as well, right? By name of Morton Jr. Koopa, hold on to that thought, <laughs> Wendy O. Koopa, Inky Koopa, Ludwig, Ludwig von Koopa, which is my personal favorite, Lemmy Koopa, Roy Koopa, and Larry Koopa, who have, uh, I think they were introduced in Super Mario World, Brandon? Can you confirm that? Not World. Yes, um, World. yes. I absolutely have no idea. Um, but probably it feels, like, it feels like the vibe. But I, I don't know. I found some lore a while ago, and someone was like, oh, Morton Koopa Jr. is a junior, so that means he's the only actual son, but Bowser Jr. is also a junior, but maybe the Koopalings is the only one. I don't know. Why yeah, but, like, if, he, if it's Morton Koopa Jr., wouldn't it mean that, like, his father's name is Morton? Is, yeah, but what's Bowser's full name? Is it Morton Bowser? <laughs> is it Bowser Morton? Well, but if you're, if you're saying junior, then typically you're... I, I assume it would be Bowser... Koopa, and then Bowser Jr. Full name would be Bowser Cooper Koopa Jr. Right? Yeah. That, that's so then, my assumption. Be there's got to be someone like, called Morton, who's yeah. also part of Bowser's family, but maybe like his brother. What? What is this? On a fan tendo, it says, "Is I say, is Bowser's real name Morton?" It says Morton Cooper Senior, <laughs> Morton Koopa Senior, or Morton Koopa Senior. What? Also called King Koopa, <laughs> is the overarching antagonist of the Bowser franchise. What's the Bowser franchise? <laughs> Are we getting into fan stuff now? I don't know what's happening. I just want to scroll. Super Whoa. Mario Diaper Duty. Yeah, I can think these are fan games. Yeah, yeah these are all fan stuff. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, so some fake news. The Koopalings are super cool. I'm a big fan. Uh, but if you just love being mean is their, is their catchphrase, I guess. <laughs> According to the old instruction manual. Yes, I? Look, apparently this is... <laughs> this, <laughs> this, is this is some fan art of Morton Koopa Sr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, imagine the most like 2012 looking um tumblr bowser that's incredible yeah anyway so yeah he, he has family so peach is not the mother of any of his children some are adopted i'm sure i was uh, i was gonna say that i found an important piece of lore uh -huh. um that uh the uh the morton koopa jr is supposed to be a pun on morton downey jr <laughs> was a <laughs> okay i don't trust that because i looked up somewhere else and they had a musician for each and every koopaling you know which like ludwig von beethoven is an easy one to get <laughs> Zach just yeah, posted I, I, I think Koopa. i think the one, second... on the super mario wiki it okay says... is it on the super mario wiki or is it on the fan wiki because i don't trust anything on the fan wiki because the image i just sent is from the fan wiki <laughs> It's on uh, MarioWiki.com. What am I on? I'm on Fantendo. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> this is what it says that he's named after American tabloid talk, talk show presenter Martin Downey Jr. Oh, wait. It actually says they were all named after famous musicians. No, that's Mario Wiki again. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, right, well, what, are the, what are the musicians for each? Uh... Uh, oh, here on online on Reddit says uh, Beethoven, Roy Orbison, Wendy O. Williams, Morton Downey Jr., Ian Lemmy <laughs> Kilmeister, Kilmister, Iggy Pop, yeah. and Larry Mullen Jr. Lemmy and Iggy, that makes sense to me. Yeah, so then why, <laughs> why did you say that the Morton Downey Jr. one's not true and then proceed to read it in most monotone? No, because I, I saw that image before, but I don't know Morton Downey Jr., <laughs> you know? I uh, So I was like, oh, it feels it feels a little bit cap, I don't know. Like I, I feel It feels like, I mean, Wendy, Larry, Roy feel like generic enough where you can argue there anything, but I don't know, Iggy, Lemmy, Ludwig... Uh, yeah. I can't comment on Morton because I don't know who Morton is. Yeah, no, I feel like they're, they're feel like of like the seven popular Mortons at the time. The fact that it's Morton something Junior, that's pretty clever. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what they're called in Japan. Uh, Michael, uh, Jeff, <laughs> and Kevin, yeah. and uh... <laughs> yeah, probably. Anyway, so that's uh, that's uh, that's something about the Koopalings, something, uh, and and Young Bowser. But yeah, it's important to know. <laughs> Bowser Jr. is not Young Bowser, obviously. Which one's um, you know, which one's in the bottom Bowser left? Is. Which one's Young Bowser? Which one's Bowser Jr.? Bowser Jr. is on the right with the with the mask. Uh, okay. Baby, uh, Baby What's Bowser's different between the, the two of them? Baby Bowser is the Bowser. Baby Bowser is Bowser. No, no, no. no, no, no. Like I, I get that bit, but I'm oh. saying, is there any visual differences between the two of them? 
besides I think it's based on context. Shirt. Yeah, I think it's um, it's uh, the bib with the uh, with like the teeth on it. Okay, I see. Which is a funny thing too. I mean, he does have teeth. Well, maybe because he only has baby teeth. He doesn't have his fangs yet. If he bit you, he'd just be, he'd just be getting gummed. You know? <laughs> oh my god! I guess it's like it's like Donkey Kong, uh, like Diddy Kong, like Donkey Kong uh, in the original one was uh, like Cranky Kong. Is the original Donkey Kong? Yep. And uh, Donkey Kong looks exactly like Cranky Kong did when he was younger. And Donkey Kong has an has an even more disturbing um, cartoon, that 3D animated thing. Oh yeah, that it's you know it's Canadian. Really, I love yeah. that. And Allegedly, yeah. If we were for a moment to uh, shift gears and uh, jump into, I'm gonna like jump, rump away from the mic, come back. Like, did you know this is a fun gaming? I heard myself <laughs> echo through other people. That's how excited I am. <laughs> but to jump in the most like gaming, like excitable little character face thing, yeah, excitable little character would be to say that Baby Donkey Kong is a real character that exists in like some of the sports games. This young Donkey Kong, really small Donkey Kong. But all the Kongs, there's a lot of Kongs too you get into. That's a whole other butter yeah, That's going to be another you know monster cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's going to get like less and less monsters till it's like, uh, my house cat, Neville. <laughs> um, Brandon. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, Brandon. Well, You're going to be one of the well, monstrous musing episodes. There should be various okay. pictures of you. <laughs> And to, to end off the episode, we have to jump into some lore, some explanation. Oh my uh, goodness. One of the most um, beautiful, uh, you can't, I didn't just, that's not the adjective I chose, so I, I, I'll, I'll deny it repeatedly. Um, I said coolest. Uh, <laughs> power, power up, transformation of uh, Bowser, absolutely not canon, has, has been made expressly clear by Nintendo. Um, being what happens when Bowser attains the super crown so the super crown's a power up that i believe was in uh yeah uh, introduced in super mario bros u deluxe okay so the description of this super crown from i believe the game is when toadette finds one of these she can transform into a super powered peachette full stop open bracket sorry luigi hyphen only toadette can use th this item exclamation point close bracket and if that doesn't incite the passion of the internet i do not know what will. but i always thought it was it was just like a weird like it swapped her genders or something but no it's toadette to it's princess toadette peach. specific that specifically turns into like a mock-up of princess peach yeah so but I, that's really but like were they okay, hold on were they really were they that specific originally in like the original wording of the move or did they add that level of spe specificness after the whole like uproar? About the Luigi, or about Toadette? About it only works for Toadette. Sorry, Luigi. No, so I think it. The, I think the idea was because in that game, you can play as Mario and Luigi, you can play as Toadette, you can play as Nabbit, which is like what the heck's that a little Nabbit? rabbit character that wears an angry like a little scarf thing like Bowser yeah. Jr. And when you play as Nabbit, like I think you don't take damage from like enemies and certain obstacles and stuff, so it's like an easier mode. And then in between the two is Toadette because she can get this power up and stuff. Um, so the power up was always kind of exclusive to her. And even though like different stuff on the internet when this was a big deal made a big deal about the transformation, it's it it is a Toadette to Peach. You know, it's a it's a crown to Peach. It's not like a magical gender swap. Like oh, no, so yeah. specifically to Peach. Ah, uh. yeah. So even though the Bowser stuff makes it look like it's Peach turning into Bowser, a mix of that. It's Bowser becoming Peach, and if you knock that crown off, you're standing next to the King of the Koopas. <laughs> you know? Is that like I'll a glue it on, like a metaphor for society um, trying to be someone they're not via methods such as uh, plastic surgery and all that, trying to look like celebrities, and um, uh, it, using that metaphor uh, that uh, if if that was available to wider society, that'd be dangerous. And so only Toadette has the ability to uh, master that, and it's temporary. <laughs> to, like, pull, it, pull her skin back and not be flabby in her old age and completely reconstruct the facial structure of, like, uh, Kamala uh, Harris. Is that what you're exactly. saying? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Although I, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that was good. Yeah. Anyway, it's, um, it's incredible. Uh, there was a Bazit song. 
that has been taking the world by storm now, but I think it's an old song. Yeah. But they finally made it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, Andrew plays it in the car as he's uh, yeah. driving, uh, driving to the office, and then yep. uh, uh, people give him funny looks, and he just uh, snarls back at them, and then they understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but it's it's incredible to note. So I, I I was trying to see in my little bit of research time here. I didn't find like an original tweet where like Nintendo of America was like Bowsette is not canon, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, she's not, you know. But I don't know. It frustrated me in the game. Yeah, no, I swear when I was playing through the game, some some of the boxes like power up boxes would drop them, even though I was playing as like Mario or Toad if he was in it, or Luigi for the Luigi one, and it's like well I can't use them anyway. You just go through the power up. It's the only one in the game. It's it's it was a kind of a weird addition, but. I think those characters were good to have, like, a little brother, little sister mode or something. Anyway, so, yeah, it's all based on the crown. Not the crown from the hit, uh, hit series. Show. Yeah, discussing the life of uh, Camilla. That's Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you feel me? <laughs> Any Close off with the, me? we'll be right back. <laughs> Bowser out now. You're getting what? No, so, you know the, we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Just, that's yeah. Bowser, dude. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> Yeah, so an incredible character, a lot of character. He talks in the movie, it's Jack Black. I thought it was going to be jarring, but it wasn't really. Jack Black did a yeah, great I, job. Peaches yeah, is a good. fantastic song, even though it's like a minute yeah. long. Um, and everybody's like surprised that Jack Black could whip up like a, an incredible little slightly goofy, charming track, even though that's all he's done in his music <laughs> yeah, career for he's the been past doing like, 40 for the, years. Yeah. Um, the One of the best reasons to cover Bowser now um, is is because of the movie, and it's been such a big deal. Spawned all sorts of cute little pictures of like ten reporters talking to Jack Black and Miyamoto in the corner, like holding a glass of water, like they don't know I invented Super Mario. <laughs> 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 um, uh, but yeah, you know. So I'm I'm sure there's stuff we missed, but uh, hey, we talked about Bowser for an hour, so <laughs> I don't know what you want. It's true. Um, I guess closing remark. Um, Bowser, you know, it's uh, probably uh, one of, the, if not the most recognizable uh, video game enemy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he's a pretty, pretty big fella, powerful fella. You know, a lot of evolutions over time, but uh, ever since, like, I guess, the 3D era has been pretty consistent. Mm-hmm. Uh, aside from Mario 64, which is, <laughs> but you know, uh, in general, kind of same vibe. Um, Andrew, uh, it took a lot of restraint on your part to get these uh, relatively normal images of uh, Bowsette on the, on our uh, on our reference image slide set, and uh, you know, I, I'm glad that you were able to, to hold back and not and be able to sift through probably some of the most uh, unimaginably horrible uh, images on the planet. That's pretty good. Uh, what else? Uh, you know uh, that the live action movie Bowser uh, is probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And uh, it's a good thing that was not uh, the canon. <laughs> That's an incredible closing remark. So I concur with everything that Brandon has uh, we, we, stated. We, yeah, me too. We uh, we respect Bowser's vibe. Um, he probably, if you're listening though, dude, sorry about the uh, sorry about getting trapped in a jar at the end of the Mario movie. Yeah, I put a spoiler <laughs> in. Yeah, I did. Um, and uh, um, you might want to rethink your relationship with uh, people, women. Uh, you know. Are you giving Bowser like non incel advice? Is that what's happening right now? <laughs> yeah, why not t- touch some grass if you get the chance? You know, you're in the lava realm. World Eight's a really dark place to be, dude. The world's the world's a big place. Um, and then he would probably go, "Oh well, uh, I'd love to see Japan. Japan exclusively is beautiful. I only want to go to Japan and say, you know what? There's other cool places too. Why don't we go on a little trip? Um, it'd be a whole thing." Also, we didn't talk about the fact that I think there's been a whole world of fan art and smut about Mar- about Bowser and Luigi. No, I don't the believe movie. this. <laughs> um, which is also wild. Um, you know, but Luigi deserves love too, you know? And maybe as a general rule, he should wear a little bit more clothes because if you wear it sometimes and then not for others, like, it begs a couple questions, you know? But yeah, uh, this was uh, a dis- a, an in-depth analysis of the King of the Koopas, King Koopa, Koopa King, Bowser. And uh, if you don't mind us, we are going to not stomp some Koopas. 
<laughs> in the words of Chris. <laughs> that was, your, your microphone like absolutely peaked. <laughs> like got you up. Yeah. And Chris Pratt was all right too. I feel like we should that. Yeah, you know, that was, that was, yeah, that was a very unoffensive performance. There's nothing wrong with it. It's okay. Yeah. Oh. People were like way, way like very mad. And then it was, it was fine. So if you want further discussion exactly- of the movie or we can bully Zach into watching it with us again, you know. Uh, I'll watch it. Too. Anyway, join us next time. <laughs> so, thanks for joining us. This has been Monsters Musings episode uh, sixteen and a half. If you and, if you uh, miss the other ones, just keep looking on YouTube. You'll find them. Yeah, just just keep looking. Uh, look up uh, Rick on bo- Morty on board. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, that's actually the the hidden episode for uh, number uh, for episodes uh, yeah. uh, seven through fifteen or whatever. And then that's it. Yeah. Yeah, and um, I guess at the end of the day, all we can say is that. Um, these musings sure have been monstrous. Mic drop, fade to black. That's true. Open bracket, fin, close bracket, period. <laughs> See you in the next episode. <laughs>